The top commander of Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, IRGC, says the country's latest supersonic missiles can render enemies' missile defense shields inoperable for many decades. Commander of the IRGC's Aerospace Force Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizadeh made the announcement while touring an exhibition of the force's achievements on Monday. The IRGC's Aerospace Force has managed to achieve a remarkably high level of deterrence in the area of missile, drone, air defense, aircraft, radar and space industries. Its latest supersonic missile achievement is capable of disabling missile defense shields of the enemies of Iran, including the United States, the Zionist regime and their proxy governments, for many decades the commander said. Hejizid has said the young elites of Iran have successfully paved the way for improving the country's defense industry, added that such an experience can be used in other sectors, including economy, to solve problems and make progress. Earlier this month, Hejizid has said the country has developed a homegrown hypersonic ballistic missile, which is capable of penetrating sophisticated aerial defense shields and striking designated targets. The new missile can pass through all missile defense systems, and I don't think that the technology capable of countering it will be achieved in the decades to come. It can target the enemy's anti-missile systems, and its production marks a huge leap in the development of a new generation of missiles which is it pointed out. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made substantial headway in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient in the armed sphere. Iranian officials have repeatedly warned that the country will not hesitate to strengthen its military capabilities, including its missile power, which are entirely meant for defense, saying the Islamic Republic's defense capabilities will be never subject to negotiations. After 40 years since the Islamic Revolution, no one in no country, even those who claim to be superpowers, dare to invade Iran and even think about it, Major General Abdulraham Mousavi said. He said the enemy's wish to partition Iran, cause insecurity and destruction, disrupt economy and production, and hinder the country's scientific and technological progress, but they will never achieve their vicious goals. He noted that the enemies did everything they could during the recent riots that hit Iran, planning and organizing them and providing intelligence and financial services to rioters. Separatist groups in Persian language satellite networks and messengers and the like are also directly involved and responsible for field command, Misabi said, stressing the importance of remaining vigilant. Riots broke out in Iran in mid-September after the death of a young Iranian woman, Masa Amini. The 22-year-old fainted at a police station in Tehran and was pronounced dead three days later in hospital. An official report by Iran's legal medicine organization concluded that Amini's death was caused by illness, rather than alleged blows to the head or other vital body organs. In the meantime, rioters went on rampage across the country brutally attacking security officers and causing massive damage to public property as Western powers, especially the United States, provided support. Late last month, Iran's intelligence ministry and the intelligence organization of the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps IRGC, issued a joint statement to highlight the major role of foreign spy agencies, especially the CIA, in orchestrating the violent riots.
Elsewhere in his remarks, the Iranian commander reminded that the Americans had admitted more than 10 years ago they have resorted to smartphones and applications to obtain their goals in Iran. They themselves said that millions of Internet users were their soldiers. We should be vigilant, he said. Misavi pointed to the country's achievements in defense industry, particularly the recent inauguration of the production line of the long-range Sayed B-4 missile, and said only few countries have such a combination of technologies. He said the Iranian nation should become aware of the country's advancements in the path towards independence, stating that the enemies are fearful of Iran's power and capabilities. Iran's defense ministry on Sunday unveiled the upgraded version of the domestically designed and manufactured Beaver 373, Bali 373, surface-to-air missile system, and inaugurated the production line of long-range Sayed B-4 missile. During the test a stationary target was detected at a range of more than 450 kilometers by the optimized radar of the Beaver 373 system and hit within the range of more than 300 kilometers.